Is that something to fear? Well, it depends on how you look at it and what you think is going to die. If you identify with this temporary body, then you'll live in fear because everything ends when this body goes. But if you identify with the immortal soul, that which is within the body, the source of life and consciousness, then death is like discarding old and worn out clothes. No one laments much about that. What happens to the soul after death? Where does it go? And that's a long story, but where you go is up to you, in short. It's for you to decide. You have that free will. How you live your present life will determine the future. And basically, that's called karma. It's the subtle form of Newton's law of action and reaction for every action. There's an equal and opposite reaction. If you live according to God's laws, then you get a good result, a better destination after death. But if you live according to your whims, ignoring nature's laws, you get a bad destination. And that's something to fear. How does being a calf on the way to the slaughterhouse sound? Pretty fearful. Believe it or not, like gravity, karma is a fact. So if you want to know more about how to live a progressive life, I recommend you read the Bhagavad Gita. The one thing in life that is 100% certain is death. We plan for so many things in life that aren't guaranteed. Who will we marry? What's our career? Which house we'll live in? But the one thing that is guaranteed, the one thing most of us don't plan for, is death. Bhagavad Gita says, out of many different forms of life, human life is the rarest. It facilitates self-realization, but it also comes with responsibility and choices. So live a purposeful life, a life less ordinary, and that way you can conquer death.